All right, hello and welcome. Finally got the stream up and running for our rotisserie drafts. This is a the second one we've done. This is a double Ravnica. So we've got Ravnica and Return to Ravnica blocks. And we'll talk more about the things we drafted in a little bit. Uh, let's welcome to the broadcast. We just have their voices because I haven't figured out all the technical stuff quite too well yet. So we've got uh, Yuki, Hunter, and Harry. Say hello, guys. Hi. Hey. All right. So yeah. we're gonna have I have the names backwards, but <laughs> we're gonna have uh, Michael Smith playing Azorius against Joe, my brother, playing Gruel. And let's. Uh, what do you guys think of the the opening hands here? Well, uh, Molda Five is not really going to go so well. <laughs> I guess Island Plains is always first wing is about as good as you can expect on level four. Yeah, certainly not the start he was hoping for. No. I've never seen anyone cast a Savage Born Hydra, but it seems like it could be pretty good, especially if you're ramping with Gruel Signet, whatever else, what other ramp he can get. Yeah. I saw it once in, uh, like, as a one of in that green white, or the red white, red green Brian Kibler aggro deck once. Like, they were trying to gore plant Rampager it. It was pretty good. So, seems like. Yeah, that when that, could if happen. that happens, that does seem good. <laughs> this is a pretty reasonable five card hand. Four card, even. Burning, yeah, burning tree seems good here. Yeah, yeah. Blocks it on Gatekeeper. Eh, that's going to be castable next turn. Mm -hmm. I'm Any stuff come into play? I'm now. a little surprised it's, it's not bad against. I'm a little surprised it's main deck, but on the other hand, Michael's really playing a tempo deck. It's not actually a control deck, even though right. it kind of looks like it in first glance. Yeah, I, I I rejected his name before it, and the uh, <laughs> his deck list said control, but I changed the name. So. A lot of detain and bounce, not so much card drawing control. Right. So what's a Joe cast here? He's got options. Uh, he's, he's probably, uh, so he's probably going to do Domery. Just plus it, try and pick something off top of his deck. Yeah, it's... I mean, it can get attacked for two, but it, you're, you're not too worried. I don't think of a pump spell or something weird. Right. I could have seen actually just casting the Rampager and then fighting, but uh, next turn. But he probably doesn't have to do yeah. that. He's probably yeah. setting up the I Wombo the, combo. Yeah. The, the, yeah. the Rampager, I think, with his hand works a little bit better as a uh, pump spell as opposed to an actual creature. You just blood rush it. Especially if you're going to do it on a, you know, it's probably going to have like a 4-4 four, four or 3-3. Three, three. I draw the time it actually does it. So when you have an 8-8 eight, eight trampling, double striking Hydra, or a 4-4 four, four, double striking Hydra. Oh, the 8-8. Yeah. You, uh, you win pretty fast with that. So that mountain comes into play tap. It's actually a pretty powerful effect, even though it's on a somewhat unexciting card, perhaps. Yeah. 
I mean, it's it's good to just kind of slow them down. I mean, if you can actually pull a land off the top, you can drop Lavinia and detain everything. So it's just kind of slowing everybody down. I forget who got blind obedience. Uh, Almost the same effect. Possibly no one. I, I think I almost took it at one point. It's a very early part, but I didn't take it. My uh, card window is sized incorrectly. We are sorry for that. I never got it. Next, next week. Blind obedience, of course, doesn't hit lands, which makes this somewhat better. Yeah. So Joe looks like he's going to combat, so I guess he's going to see if he can bait out a block. That, that actually seems pretty risky, though, because then his follow-up creature is going to come and tap. And then uh, Dahmer could just die. I guess maybe if there's no block, he's going to cast a Rampager and just have Domri, sack Domri, basically, to kill the Gatekeeper. It seems feasible. Yeah, I just gotta, like, extend the border on on the card window. I'll try to do that like between games or something. Well, I mean, he has the rage bit, so he could actually trade. Yeah. I mean, he would actually kill the gatekeeper. Um, oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. That's. I was wondering if he was going to pump something. But. That may be like the only relevant. That uh, uh, Carney has the Spogfos. I think that's going to be good in his deck. But yeah, yeah, a lot of these lands are pretty underwhelming, but the. The rage bit's not not bad. Yeah. yeah, I didn't I didn't grab the Cynic one. I mean it's let you cast something with flash, but which I guess would have worked all right for what I'm doing, but yeah. I think he did tap, Sun home. tap his Sun Home gave me some value last night. Oh yeah, no, Sun Home's good. Oh yeah, I forgot about I mean, that. Giving some double strike is kind of uh, Yeah. It's kinda we, nice. We played two matches before we were able to get the stream live. Um in case anyone's wondering, so we'll post those on YouTube. Yes. Yeah. I think if Joe should have tapped a signet instead of a land here, he could have at least pretended to have something available. Yeah. But, then again, uh, he's also playing red green. There's not much yeah. he actually have. Yeah, I don't think there's a one mana burn spell also, actually in this format. Something. You just kind of punch things in the face and hope for the best. That six land is is pretty good here because now he can play a creature and cast pit fight or signal the clans. And I think he should be able to protect Omri from here. Well, the money you just put into play should be tapped, shouldn't it? No, uh, the gatekeeper. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Dead bridge, Goliath. That's a good one. Four mana for a five-five. Yeah. Domering out your opponent who mulliganed to five is, I mean, that's a pretty significant card advantage. Yeah. And Smith drops the sixteen. See what he goes for here. He's got, got a lot of options. He's probably playing the 5 5 if they tap like that. Yeah. yeah. So he can't cast Signal, but he can cast Pit Fight, which well, it's probably going to be good enough. Just fight the Flyer. Smith does have Lavinia of the 10th, which could detain uh, basically everything, <laughs> including Domri, since it's not mm -hmm. uh, non land permanence. So that. Right. Land might just be his best draw here. It's also a pro red creature. 
that he found in That's Gilgamesh. Neat. That's an amazing Levina image. Lavina just showing up and detaining planeswalkers and bringing them <laughs> into questioning. <laughs> I can't imagine Joe not going for pit fight here. Yeah. Do you have to arrest the five five? Probably. Yeah. There's also there's also devouring light. Yeah. So. Not too. And you, you got to use one or the other though, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think his best hope here is that he can play either of these three mana spells, and then next turn either draw, or like drawing a land will let him either cast the five drop or the two and the three, and then he can at least be efficient for a couple of turns and maybe get back into it. That pit fight is not on the stack anymore, presumably. Joe picks up Gruel Turf. Yeah, and I, I think the arrest is the better call because just because it has scavenge, God forbid. Yeah, I think devouring light yeah, exiles exile. actually. Yeah, exile. Yeah, but yeah. either way, it's worth yeah. being aware of. Right. <laughs> Domri finds giant Ataphage, which uh, unless you've played Return to Ravnica Sealed, you may not know what this card does. <laughs> I know what that card does. <laughs> seven mana, seven, seven with trample, and when it hits your pony, you get to make a copy of it. And then the copies make copies. Yep. Yep. Exponential giant insects. It's a pretty strong end game, actually. Mm -hmm. I almost took it. You took it the turn before I was going to take it. He took this really early. I think it was like maybe round six or seven. Yeah. Yeah, it was pick six for him. So he could Hydra for five, for four here. Or he can cast, just cast the Rampager. I think I just cast the Hydra for four. Yeah. Because now he's still got the double yeah. trample. Yeah. Although that could get blown out by Devouring Light if he goes for it too early. Yeah. Lavina also stops pretty well, at least until Rampager happens. Yeah. All right, so Joe plays the Gruel Turf, and that presumably is the end of his turn. All right, Smith yep. needs something here. Angelic Skirmisher. <laughs> Six drop probably not the best. Yeah. No. One, you only four. So his play is just to cast the two two, which. Which uh, you know, well, he can invoke. So. Worth noting, yeah, he can still cast devouring light here. Yeah. Joe has absolutely no reason to to play the rampager here. Like <laughs> he also can just cast giant out of age. Uh, we got Gruel Charm, which doesn't do anything too important here, but could matter if the board gets stalled. Or Smith does have a lot of flying creatures. Got two mana. I think he'll just try to go for the win with the blood rushed Hydra. Uh, he might. I think get blown out. 
is yeah it probably looks really safe because there's only one land card that's untapped but it's actually two to three mana so you just want counter counter he, oh he could also just attack and activate scar like that gives it trample and still saves your rampager yeah. Michael doesn't even try to bait it. Uh, yeah, he didn't try to bait the land activation. I think in that position, he just has to hope that Joe gets greedy, because he's behind so much. Like He needs a, a couple of two-for-ones here to get back. Mm -hmm. I don't think Domri's been used yet this turn. Okay, Domri missed. Oh, that's the turn. All right, Smith hit his fifth land, so Lavinia is coming down, presumably. Mm -hmm. All right, so the question now is going to be, what do you get with single of clans? Is going to come down. I'm going to assume he's going to cast Single the Clans. So we're going to look at his deck list real quick. He's got a lot of fatties. The Scargan Firebird might be good. Chaos Imps. He might just go for some big game ending sorts of cards. This we will find out. I'm not sure right now if I'm being trolled in the, the chat or not. No, the Detain did get new Prov Guild Mage in for two. Domri soaked up so much damage, though. All right, Molten Primordial. He's probably just going to get all his expensive cards, Chaos Imps and uh, the Firebird. Oh, the Firebird's not good when you can't, blood, not that good when you can't bloodthirst it. Rumbling Slum. It looks like Chaos Imps was chosen. I'm not actually sure how they went about doing that. It's random rule of dice. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's a random decision anyway. Clan Defiance uh, might be good here. Um, so much means you got? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Although Lavinia is pro red, so you can't yeah, kill that's her. Yeah, that's true. Um, Giant out of phase. Um, that's probably the better 
Like, I think. Oh no, I think he can just. Oh, never mind. That doesn't work. No, I don't think he can win this turn. <laughs> no. He can probably just like I don't know, cast the giant out of age and. Well, he he hasn't done Domri yet, right? Ah, uh, that's true. Also. You can probably just cast the out of age and have it fight Lavinia to get her out of the way. Well, you can't fight it with Domri because Domri is red. Yeah. All right. It's for it's, some reason I thought it was the creatures. Just is Domri not detained? Did I miss a turn? Oh, that that's right. Domri was detained. Good call. Domri's. They knew that, thankfully. Well, here's a large insect. Michael Kent just starts spamming detains on the new problem build mage. <laughs> yeah. Syncopate, yeah. not too great right here. Here comes Lavinia. I like this detain finish off Domri, maybe? Yeah, probably. Like you say, though, he's taking so much damage. Can't Pro rate, right, can't do that. Can't do that. Can he just. <laughs> oh, he detained with the guild mage. I looked at the chat for a second. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> they figured it out. I think this is just going to be lethal, though. So you can clan defiance for. Seven and kill the guild mage and attack for seven or eight now, apparently. No, I oh, know it, it was actually only with... six, yeah, because it's oh, oh, the spider got detained. I'm sorry, yep. Yeah. I don't remember what any until of these... your next turn. I don't know what any of these mechanics do, that's probably why I lost. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, was like, I was pretty sure detain works until your next turn, otherwise, it just no, you're right, good. you're right. We need like detain emblems or something. I'll help you keep track. No, I just need to pay attention. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Touche. <clears throat> what if he attacks I'm with? Just... Uh, what if he uh, clan defiance for all but two, and then attacks and blood rushes? Is that lethal? Four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. So you do it for five. Six, seven, That's one eight, short. Nine, I think he's five. one one short. Yeah, because if if he doesn't block. That's true. Then, uh, I don't have my phone. If he doesn't if he doesn't get blocked, then he would. But if he does. Sorry about that. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Yeah, I think he, uh, he's just taking the chaos imps. Root. Unleash the imps. Yeah, he, I mean, he could have actually won next turn. Because he didn't actually block. Oh, yeah. He, he could have, but this is, I think, a little safer. Yeah, I mean, that'll. It's not what he had. But... That'll probably do it. Michael needs that supreme verdict that somebody else drafted. Yeah. Hey, it yeah. wasn't me. Joe no, doesn't have to play around in it, the supreme verdict because it's not there. Mm -hmm. So I can happily say I'm not the one who actually drafted it, <laughs> even though I have it. My first pick was World Fire Run. <laughs> well, for a mold of four, that's a pretty good game. Yeah. Yeah, Smith fought for quite a while. Just, I think that the, if if not for the Domri, he maybe even would have had a shot. 
Yeah, the dominator just kind of buried him card advantage. Which is usually a hard thing to come by in red green. Whenever he doesn't detain, he just worth kills him again. Worth noting, Domri was the first overall pick in the draft. Yep. Pulling his weight. He's a good card. He's one of the few non creatures that I stuck in my Animar Commander deck. <laughs> What got detained? I didn't see the spider. Uh, out of uh, age. Yeah, out of age. Okay, then yeah, this it's pretty trivial here. Attack, blood rush, be done. And he wants to cast Clan Defiance. <laughs> it's just like for maximum remnants. And he didn't cast it for the full amount. So mm. yeah. now we're finally on to game two, it looks like. Yeah. And that's game one. All right, let's uh, we can look at some sideboards here. Let's see what uh, Smith is working with. A renounce the guilds actually seems pretty good here. Like he doesn't have a ton of multicolor cards, and a lot of these big fat red green creatures are multicolored. Although we did see chaos imps and giant Adiphage. Uh, or the ones on the table at the end of the game. I think if they could stick uh, Minister of Impediments and not have it die, that, that could be efficient at uh, keeping something back. I was going to mention that. Keep some fatties there. Yeah. I don't actually see a whole lot else here. He could try no, to get more. I think that's been yeah, I think yeah, I just think that's what he just has to do is be more aggressive than him. So he board he's, he's playing eight creatures, so all the low drops. Yeah, and create militant stuff like that. Let me take a look here at uh, Joe's sideboard. He has a few more options. It's worth noting for our viewers that this is a limited format, so all of your cards not in your main deck end up in your sideboard. It's like Smith. Drafted more non basic lands and um, that sort of mm -hmm. thing. So he ended up with fewer sideboard cards. Joe has just a bunch of big fat creatures in a sideboard. <laughs> it's like the whole the, uh, Rubble Hulk, Rurikthar, Borber Ignis, Rural Rage Beast. Two Borber Ignis. I think I like the, um, the uh, Burning Tree Shaman, right? We saw a bunch of abilities get activated. So we're in the second game now. Okay, yeah, we'll switch back to the game. Ooh. All right, looks like Smith has a much more reasonable hand here. Now, uh, now Joe is mulligan into oh. oblivion. Oof. Not uh, not not the best game here. <laughs> I think I would keep that on the draw, though. Like, he's got a land and a signet he can scry into. He has a scry, and yeah. Could, but he's going to be cutting it close to doing anything. Could cast turn three, right, Pitcher? Uh, what card? Mr. from Demons is right there. All right, now you found a mountain. 
What's the plural of borborygmus anyway? <laughs> Borborygmi? Oh. Send us uh, your uh, answers in the chat, and we'll choose our favorite one. <laughs> Smith is also very uh, heavy on the bounce lands. He actually has uh, three. He has the Azorius one and three off-color bounce lands. He thinks they're quite good in this format. Most of us are only playing one or two or even zero. I think I have two in my deck. And here is the Tepper. So Jeff hits a fourth land, he can cast the Dead Bridge Goliath, which seems decent. Although we know Smith has the Tension Sphere. Pit fight, not a great draw when you have no creatures. I mean, if he gets, depending on how things go, if he gets one creature out, he doesn't see what's in Smith's hand, but if he gets one creature out, he could pit fight away the Minister at least. Would free up his ability to actually do something other than being locked down. Now he just drops Grand Arbiter, and I think life gets very difficult for them and a screen player. Very much so. I guess he can like signal the clans for a bunch of two drops. I don't know how useful that's going to be, though. Oh, he's detention sharing the Gruul Signet. That's pretty aggressive. Mm -hmm. It's sort of the same deal. I actually think I like the Arbiter better, because you're more or less doing the same thing. But like progressing your board. Because then you can always do the Detention Sphere next turn. That too. Two oh yeah, and well. Detention Sphere costs one mana with the Arbiter in play. At two. Oh, it's two, right, I'm sorry. You, you sorry yeah, it is two colored symbols. Yeah, still mm -hmm. pretty good. Yep, here's Zertod Druid. That's probably the one he's hoping to hit. You can get like Gyre Sage and Experiment One. I don't even know. Burning Tree. Okay. Looks like he's getting gyre air burning tree. Okay. Okay, no, it's gyre sage. I thought I saw he rolled the middle one. He's actually in if he could draw the burning tree emissary off the top, that would be pretty good. Then he could go well he go burning tree gyre sage. You can't actually get a counter on it though. When you're getting attacked by Minister of Impediments, like, it's not really very good. <laughs> no, not usually. Crispy says he just likes more Barygmos, as the plural and the singular. I could be convinced. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I could see it. Lie of Sky Knight detaining the Gyre Sage also seems pretty good. So I think Smith will probably tap the Gyre Sage during Joe's upkeep. 
just to keep it from evolving. He's obviously on the fight the mana plan here. Single pit for one is still thing that could happen. Yeah. That's a good point. <laughs> Joe picked up Domri and he can't cast it. It's true. In fact, I don't think he can cast anything. I guess he could pit fight to kill the Minister of Impediments. Yeah. No. Testing? Can anyone hear me? Yeah. Quite a bit, yeah. He can cast it. That's what he's gonna he's do. Gonna get syncopated. Yeah, that's brutal. I really hope in game three we get to see both decks do their thing. Because he's been be so nice. one-sided. We've got an argument for Mises as a pillar of Mises. That's your best moment. Be Hey, he's, he was making the assumption. So, <laughs> obviously, the plural of Moose is Mises, so his argument is now invalid. And now Gyre Sage is detained. I think that means Minister is getting in there again. I feel like it takes a lot of uh, willpower to, not to like scoop right now. <laughs> He can still evolve it if he can actually cast something. So he can Gruel Charm the 3 1. Forgot to update the score. I'm not good at the streaming stuff yet. Bear with me. I was tempted to just change the score to, to match tied one to one, but maybe slightly premature. Okay, I think we're back. We I lost the connection just for a second there. Uh, you guys haven't really missed much. Joe is going for the Gruel Charm on the Sky Knight. Smith is starting to get a little bit land flooded. Like, if Joe can ever draw some lands. This game, I don't think, is totally over. It sure looked like it a couple turns ago. He's down to five, though. He's going to have to draw something right now. Although, with the, the remand is actually a pretty big draw. I don't think he's going to have enough time. Yeah, that's probably just got it. I think you drew one land the entire game. It's not what you want yeah. to do, mold of five. 
Hmm. With the exception of if you kept a five card, five land, five card hand or something. What did he start off with? Was it five lands or six lands in his opening hand and uh, first hand he had? That was a lot of land. Yeah. And that's the game. Yep. Detain. I'll take a quick look at the sideboards again. I really don't see a ton. I could see maybe... It probably would have been better on the draw, but I could see maybe Savage Twister being good because Smith has a lot of cheap, you know, two twos and stuff. I don't know how... Yeah. And probably worse on the play, though, right? Yeah, probably. I guess if you think you're the control, you can still bring it in. You could just play, like, Scarred Guild Mage or something if he wants another low drop. Smith, we talked about that. The remand would have been good had Joe drawn something. Um, we didn't see any. We saw the minister. We didn't see any of the three cheap creatures at the top, but I uh, still think we could end up seeing that. You guys have any other thoughts on this? Mm, I think I'll probably keep it the same. Yeah. I mean, kind of jump right back in. Yeah. And they probably swap. Probably a little bit more. I don't, I mean, yeah, if there is a Savage Twister. I feel like I haven't learned anything about the matchup, really. <laughs> like, yeah, but it's... Alright, we'll look at the... Hey, these these starting either. hands look sort of decent. Savage Twister is in. Yep. That's a pretty uh, controlling hand. He has a Naturalize brought in, too, and Smith has the arrest. Yeah. So. so, maybe we'll see something. He ships it, though. Yeah. He didn't have much he was doing. He was sitting there kind of reactively. Yeah. Definitely. Ooh, I don't know about that. It didn't seem bad to me. He's trying to dig for something. Yeah. The first hand, in my opinion, wasn't that bad. Like, it wasn't that reactive, but he had mana. He could have drawn into creatures. Yeah. I didn't real, actually but... get a good look at the six. I think the six was just pretty weak. Overall. It was it was one land. Yeah. Although he kept one land here, he kept it on top, so it was a land. About as good as you can get. This time he actually has the Zerta and the, yeah. the Signet, so he might actually be able to get somewhere this time. Be on the playhouse. That's true. Mm -hmm. Does Smith have like and any creatures? He has three. Bounce or Smith has three bounce lands, so <laughs> he's not going to be playing very fast. Yeah, he does not have any creatures that survive museum orders. Also, Smith needs to discard a card. So Joe plays a cool signet. He could have Rurik there next turn. Just draws into nine. And now it's nine cards in hand. <laughs> One of the problems with Cockatrice is that we, it doesn't enforce the rules. You have to do it yourself. Yeah. We're looking into getting this onto Magic Online at some point, by the way. A lot of us, we don't have, didn't have the cards and wanted to get started. But hopefully in a couple of weeks. Yeah, basically, just get to hope that Master Biomancer comes down in price. So <laughs> it's $10 on it. I know, it's crazy. I mean, it's probably just availability, but. The only other thing I can possibly think of would be for uh, Commander. You totally missed the discard. Yeah, can somebody text him about that or something? Like I just did. Okay. Alright. No guarantee he'll read it. Yeah, I mean, they, they just kind of seem to be going, so... Here comes Rurik Thar, the Unbound. Yeah, that's gonna shut down a lot. Yeah. I mean... 
six damage each non-creature. He's got a handful of non-creatures. He's also likely to cast the arrest on it, and then it could just get naturalized, and he's going to end up taking a boatload of damage. Yeah. He would just he would devouring light at first, wouldn't he? I was gonna say he probably don't oh, want to right, devouring right. light because okay. you know he's gonna try to attack with it. I didn't see that. It actually has to attack. Well, does it have to? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah. So yeah, he better be attacking with it. <laughs> yeah, and plus naturalizing it. Or uh, resting is as good because it still gets its trigger ability. I mean, it stops six damage a turn, but. Yeah. Not the other six damage. Alright, so that does drop to 12. We got Joe's dead bridge Goliath to replace here. He's probably going to get arrested. Yeah. But he's got the mana to naturalize it at speed right now. Smith could also he's cast mar him. martial law. Yeah, he doesn't have natural Yeah, naturalizes in his old hand. Oh, you're right. Oh, it's mortars. Never mind. I don't know what I was thinking. You're thinking of his opening hand his opening that we hand, right? kind of expect him to keep. So arrest I'm gonna do the trick here. E. That's unfortunate that the discard got missed, but he does have like four lands in hand and I I think losing one of them is probably not going to have a major impact on the game. Yeah, the Silesian Sanctuary and the Plains, I believe, were still there. Yeah. Was Lavinia already in his hand at that time, or...? I'm not sure. Did you draw that after? It's a Savage Born Hydra. So you can cast that for I didn't cast it for that much. You could have done it for four, but I just went only for two. Is he gonna mortar the two two? That doesn't seem that great. I mean the two two would keep his Savage Born detained and it's the only blocker he has left. Board wise, I could see him making that call. However, he does have a hand of six cards, so that's a lot of options. Right, but you don't know he has four lands in hand. Yeah, we don't know that, but I'm just saying, like, if you saw your opponent with six cards, that's still a lot of options. <laughs> right. I like. I don't presumably, know. presumably. When you mulligan like that, it seems like you gotta try to get value out of something. I think I mentioned that in the last mm -hmm. game. Smith draws another planes. Then it's pretty good though. Yeah. Just stops, all the things. Stops the hydro from getting a bunch of counters too. Yeah. So you're looking for a spell. That's pretty good. Rum rumbling slum. Spell. Yeah. 
So I'm just slowly ping them out. See, back in the day, they, they made... Uh, <laughs> They, I mean, this one deals your opponent damage too, but as they made five fives that like dealt you damage. <laughs> Nowadays, it's like there's a five five that also kills like your opponent's creatures. It's a pretty good draw. This does open him up to possibly losing to a top deck removal spell. Although I guess martial law does too. Because <laughs> it doesn't detain immediately. Because if Joe just draws... Mm -hmm. I don't know. I say it. Smith could leave back Lavinia. That might actually be more prudent, I think, here. I sh no, she doesn't have Vigilance. She does not. Oh, he used the Angelic Skirmisher to give it Vigilance. Because that does happen right away. Makes yeah, sense. If he gets a card for fighting, he could have a uh, Dulk Skirmisher go down as at least one source. Yeah. Can't block the Vinia still. Boom Mountain. Because he can put three counters on the Hydra, but it can't really attack. Yeah, but at the same time, you can put the three on there and attack with both things, because although they can both be blocked, you can kill one thing. Right. Or you get through... Yeah, or you can get through... Yeah, you just start trying to push them. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, one of the you know, one of the two things will happen. Either he'll kill the skirmisher or... Yeah, and I think you're happy with the double block, because you... This, the lifelink on the skirmisher is what's going to end the game, yeah. I think. Yeah, no, I agree. And it's the beginning of each combat, so mm -hmm. it's just on his as well. Oh, it's it's each combat. Yeah. Yep. Yikes. Yeah, much better card. <laughs> mm -hmm. So basically, Lavinia can block the Hydra forever. Yeah. And then the rumbling would only do one damage. One damage. Yeah. Right. And although, you know, you can tap the, uh, the dude to keep doing the two. I mean, he can... If he doesn't have anything else, you can hang him out slowly. I think. If... Uh, yeah, I really mean, yeah. Probably just him. Yeah. It's probably oh, that's that reason. Definitely damage, though. So. With Vigilance and Flying Pro Red, I'm pretty sure the Vigilance will get through on uh, Smith's turn, and he'd win an uh, attempted race before yeah. uh, you get pinged out. Yeah. I'm going to agree now. I think I would just pass. I don't... S You're just not accomplishing a whole lot. And then you could get attacked back for a lot. At least you can get attacked attack back anyway. Really yeah, for red. So, yeah, I guess you'd... there's like marginal value here. I mean, it's not like you can block with anything. Yeah, you get to deal one damage. <laughs> Might as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Joe might be able to win if he draws Clan Defiance, I think. That might be the only card. Gatekeeper a little behind the times. I think the gates have been breached. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, so Smith went up for the Vigilance. Yeah. Okay. It keeps him open to defend because yep. his risk of damage isn't as massive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess it's not really that different than lifelink, actually. 
Because he can just keep lifelink on that. Yeah, he keeps lifelink when he's defending, and he so, prevents damage and heals. If he vigils so when he attacks, and he still has blockers. And has to drop that defiance. I'm pretty yeah, sure. Basically. Or maybe Gruel Charm. Probably not. Ground Assault. That's going to deal a lot of damage to one creature. Angelic Skirmisher. Five damage to the Skirmisher, why not? Yeah. Stops the lifelink. Yeah. He still has nothing to block Lavinia, though. No. Yeah, so he can and kill... So you kill the Skirmisher and then attack, attack, and... Chomp one, block one with Lavinia, untap, and attack for lethal, so I don't think there's anything you can do. No, it's over. And the discard didn't end up being too relevant. He still has two planes in his hand. Yeah. That's good, at least. Yep. I don't blame him for thinking through a long time, but yeah, that's the game. Smith wins 2-1. to one. Did Joe pay a life there at the end for no reason? Uh, I think that was for Rumbling Slum's trigger ability. Oh, gotcha. Okay, so we're going to try to get the players onto the video call and... Next week, we'll hopefully have a better plan for getting everyone's faces on the screen, but I didn't have time to figure it out <laughs> before today. Yeah. Isn't that supposed to... Eh? Yeah. No. All right, nothing. Ignore me. Okay. Uh, Smith, you there? I'm here. All right. Uh, congrats. Thank you. Let, um, so before I forget, uh, you did forget to uh, discard when you had eight cards in your hand in the last game. I don't uh, think it really mattered too much because you had all those lands, but uh, please be aware It does that. mean you were disqualified, however. <laughs> yeah. Game Good luck next time. <laughs> yeah. We do need to be more careful about that. Um... A lot of I mean, you're playing like you're playing like eight bounce lands. You should get used to it. <laughs> oh yeah, that was just a pile of land. <laughs> that skirmisher was skirmisher was pretty timely though. Very, very timely skirmisher. I didn't realize it works on both sides of combat. Yeah, it's pretty abusive. Makes it a lot better than I thought it was. Hey. Hey there. I don't... These are like the awkward interviews where someone mulliganed to five all three games and lost. Like, I'm not even sure. Was it, Did any of you notice any, like, key things that happened that we might have missed? What was the final mulligan count? Like, seven? Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Smith mulligan down to four on the first game. And then a five and a five. I think and that's seven five other games so in one yeah. match. What did, you, um, did you think the game three hand was too slow? Uh, I'm assuming you're talking to me. Yeah. Yeah, and your opening hand? Um, I thought my opening hand was... Uh, what, when I mulliganed it? Yeah, you had um, Savage Twister, Natural Light, you had some lands. It was, you didn't have anything aggressive, is that I, what you were looking for? The only creature in my hand was a 7-drop. <laughs> I figured that going against the control deck, if I had to 
if on the chance that I didn't draw any lower cost creatures, that if I didn't get anything out by that point in the game, I was pretty much just going to be screwed anyways. So it's like, what's the point? Yeah, I saw you could survive for a while because you have the twister. But yeah, I considered it, which is why I sat there thinking about it for a while, but I just didn't think it was going to yeah, Matter I'm all again for to get me through. similar reason in my match and also lost, so it doesn't necessarily mean we're wrong, but something to be aware of. Um, all right, well, we have another match coming. It's going to be uh, Harry's Simic against Carney's Golgari. Um, we're going to pause the stream briefly here to get the player set up, and I'm going to fix that card window that's been annoying me and probably all of you. Um, <laughs> And we'll be back in a few minutes. So don't go anywhere. <laughs> 